Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, I was reminded of some of the harsh realities of working in cybersecurity, of how important it is to keep building your skill set, even after you've comfortably landed into a, a position. Uh, recently, I did do some work on a Linux machine and my skill set's getting rusty, so here I am getting right back to it. Uh, we're doing the Over the Wire series, the Bandit Labs in particular, and uh, before we get into that, before we go too much further, let me remind you, my name is Chris Ray. Uh, I have this channel here, it's called InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career. And I also know that by uh, taking a look at the analytics coming out of the channel, that the vast majority of people watching this video right now are not subscribers. So here's what I have to say to you. If you like this video, if you're looking for content like this, subscribe to my channel. You can always unsub later. All right. so. Um, let me go ahead and shrink my big face and get down to the content here. Give me a second. Go something like that. There we go. All right. So we can see here we're on the over the wire war games. We're on bandit. We're talking about level four dash five. And in here it says the password for the next level is stored in the only human readable file in the in here directory tip. If your terminal's messed up, try to reset command. Uh, don't worry about that. Now, I'll tell you specifically, we're here because we want to learn about the file command. Uh, and if you go ahead and Google that, search it up, jump over to here, you can take a look and it will tell you this uh, Geeks for Geeks is a great site for, for Linux commands. Uh, it tells you the file command is used to determine the type of a file. Dot file type may be human readable. This command tests each argument in an attempt to categorize it. So it tells you right off the bat, uh, dot file maybe human readable, which is ASCII text or MIME type, e.g. text plane, uh, character set equals US ASCII. Uh, and then it goes down here, it shows you the syntax. So you type the command file, and then you give it an option, which you don't have to. Uh, and then you give it file name. Let me turn down these alerts. Um, moving on, then they give you some more examples here. Uh, dot dash B for brief, uh, and then options. So let's go ahead and log in and we can we can get into the fun stuff here and see that nope we want to keep that one which one is it nope wow why am i having a hard time here there we go i found it okay uh so i'm gonna go ahead and commit that we're logging in uh because i've already logged into this a few times it didn't ask me for the password but it will prompt you for the password that you collected from the previous bandit level uh before you get to this point here now we're just waiting for it to log in. And it's taking its time. There we go. Okay. So uh, taking a look back here, it tells me the password for the next level is stored in the only human readable file in the in here directory. So I'm going to LS for list. And sure enough, there's an in here directory. So I'm going to CD into in here tab that out for complete and then i'm going to list this out to see what's in the in here directory and in here we can see we have all these files uh, so one method if you didn't know how to use the file command one method would be to try and cat these out so if you wanted to cat all these file types and you could say cat file zero zero you get gibberish you could cat file zero one you get more gibberish cat file zero two and that one really gives you a whole lot of gibberish. I'm going to hit control C on that. You can see this doesn't scale. Imagine if there's a hundred files in here or 500 files in here, you're going to be auto completing till the, till the end of the day. So using the file command, we're going to hit file and then dot slash saying in this current directory. And then we want to, well, we could do one at a time. You know, we could do file zero, zero like this, you know, saying literally, literally file, uh, show me the file type for this one file. Okay, it says data. It's not ASCII. We're looking for ASCII. We could do it here. We could keep doing it here. Now, this isn't very Linuxy. This isn't using the capabilities of the Linux command line to your greatest advantage. And specifically, what I'm getting at here is we just want the file command to run on all the files in this directory. And there's two ways to do that. The first is doing like we've been doing here, typing file and then telling it to work in the current directory on a specific file name. But instead of completing the entire file name here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a wildcard on there. And the wildcard is um, that star that's on the, the eight numeral uh, above your keyboard. 
By doing this, I'm saying run the file command on all the files in this current directory, matching this name up to this point, and then after this point, any character that matches it, I want that as well. So if we commit this, well now we can see we've run it on all the dash file zero zeros in here, and look at that, file 07 contains ASCII text. Now, before we go on and, and cat out the contents of that file, let me, let me do something kind of fun here. I'm gonna change directory, I'm gonna go back up a level, uh, let's see. No, I didn't do it right. So I'm going to change directory. I want two periods. I'm back up a level. Uh, print working directory. So I can see where I'm at. I'm going to ls this again. Now this is kind of cool. If I do a file, get rid of that leading space. If I do file and then a in here and then a wildcard, look at how that works. I didn't need to go into there. I didn't need to list out the contents of the directory. I can just run file on the entire directory itself. So doing the same thing there, we can see file 07 has ASCII text in it. So now I can cat in here and then dash file 07. Sure enough, there's our password for level 5-6. There you have it. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a thing or two. And again, uh, if you missed the introductory to the series, I'm not just showing you how to beat these labs, these CTFs. Uh, as, as useful as that is, there's a bunch of videos that already show you how to do that. Instead, I'm picking out the useful tidbits, uh, like this file command and how to use it and the various ways you can use it. And I'm really focusing on that while we work through the CTF. And again, my name is Chris Ray. I have this channel here. It's called InfoSec for Humans. If you enjoyed what I did here, let me know in the comments. It's the greatest form of feedback that I can get here. And uh, I'll see you next time.